Yeah, you're looking at that word Adonai, which means your Lord. The word is not Adonai there. Now the sound, this is a little complicated. If you have the word Adonai, meaning the Lord God, you have what's called a kametz vowel. It's a little T vowel. The sound is A. If you don't have that, you have another sound, which is equally A, called a patach. That's the one you have there, just a straight line. So pronouncing that word correctly is Adonai. The word is not Adonai equals God there. The only, only other place you get that Adonai is found in the other verse we had was Isaiah 51, 22. And there it is defined as Yahweh. Ko Amar Adonai, definitely a reference to the Lord God. Hard for people. Adonai, if you're talking about Adonai by itself, that's the Lord God. Your Lord, in this case, because Adonai, the word for God, the Lord God, has a different vowel sound under the nun, the N there. So it's simply Lord. And it's clear from the context in Isaiah 51 that it's the Lord God. It says that. But here it's simply the Lord, your Lord, the bride's Lord, actually. It's the Messiah. But this is really hair-splitting stuff. One simply needs to know that there's only one Lord God in the Bible thousands upon thousands of times. So if you're referring to your Lord, that can either be the Messiah and it can also be your Lord God, if it's defined as Yahweh in the very same context.